Hello friends. I know it's been over a week since I've recorded a video. Life kind of got in the way, but we're we're getting back into the swing of things with the Wheel of the Year tarot spread. The Wheel of the Year tarot spread is a 13 card spread with one card representing each month and then the final card representing what overarching lesson or overarching thing we should be paying attention to throughout the year. I'm going to be using myself as the example of this because this month marks the one year anniversary of my father's death and so much of my life was wrapped up in taking care of him for a very long time and I was not expecting to be nearly as affected as the anniversary came around as I have been. So hopefully this will provide some inspiration, some counsel, some guidance for me, and hopefully for you as well, as well as learning just a new tarot spread. For this spread, I plan on using the Universal Fantasy Tarot, specifically the Borderless reprint, because I have two different versions of this deck. And Borderless just felt like the right feeling for this deck, because the two, or for this reading, because the two decks feel quite different, even though they have the same art. Just because of that border and the, the slightly different formatting of the cards. As we are in November, my year will be starting with December. That would be the first card, then January, February down the line. So we're going to shuffle up the deck. And we will see what there is for this spread for me. So the top of the wheel is next month. So for me, that would be December. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mine's rather than a circle going to be a bit more of an oblong just to get it to fit in the space I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So, like I said, it's not quite going to be perfect, but you'll be able to see them all. And in this case, whether they are upright or reversed has to do with their orientation towards the center of the circle. Yeah, I've been putting this one off. I've been trying to avoid this one. Card one for the month of December. We have the Emperor. Masculine authority. Being in control of oneself, of one's destiny. Wise use of resources. One thing about this spread is Major Arcana typically indicates a large life-altering type event. Minor Arcana are still major milestones in the year, but not, not that outside influence coming in and changing your life. I suspect for me, the emperor represents an actual person who I will meet during the month of December. Card number two for January, we have the Two of Swords reversed. The Two of Swords is about seeing issues and being able to avoid them. Being reversed, it's that there's some sort of inconvenience that's going to show up that I'm just going to have to face head on. Card three representing February. We have strength. Again, a major arcana card, 
representing a, a major event. This deck in particular focuses on those fantasy topics. This is referencing strength of self, not necessarily physical strength. I'm going to face something in February that requires me to be true to my ideals, which makes sense. That is also my birth month. It's going to be interesting to see what I need to face with strength there. So we're up to March, which is the Queen of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands is a woman, very knowledgeable in her field, in this case being reversed, who is abusing their knowledge. It sounds like I'm going to need to deal with a petty bureaucrat <laughs> in March. April, we have the Three of Swords upright. Because again, it's based off of coming from the center of the circle. The Three of Swords, particularly from this deck, always makes me think of like memorials, looking back on things, remembering past battles, and learning from them. So there's going to be something that happens in March. No, in April. I can remember what month we're on. That is going to need lessons from the past to overcome. April, May. So now we're on to May. Eight of Cups reversed. So the Eight of Cups is about letting things go. Specifically, people. <laughs> it's kind of like the, you've let things, you've, You've helped your child grow, and now it's time for them to go out and face the world on their own type of letting go. So there's something I'm going to need to... Something that I'm very attached to that I'm going to need to let go of. June, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. Someone's going to come asking for help, and I'm going to need to decide the appropriate way to help them. July, we have the Knight of Swords. Knights usually represent changes. Often people who are the agent of change, if it represents a person. In this case, it's that's the midpoint. Well, just past the midpoint of the year. It's keep the faith. <laughs> Follow the plan, even if things look discouraging. August, we have the Page of Wands upright. Pages are messengers. Wands are about intellectual things. It's about passion, element of fire. I get the feeling it's another one that's saying follow follow the plan. Because um, I do have a plan for next year. It's don't let emotions trick you out of doing what's necessary. For September, we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups is a card of completion. In this case, it's saying you're not done. There's still more to be accomplished before you have your happy ending. For October, we have the Eight of Pentacles sometimes referred to as the card of the craftsman this is this is achieving mastery in something i will have completed something in i'll have completed something by september that represents mastery over either a skill a craft something along those lines november we have the two of pentacles reversed two of pentacles is about choices it's weighing your options and balance and based on how I have done this November, where I have not been particularly balanced, uh, as evidenced by the upload schedule and other things, it's saying it's a choice. I mean, I'm going to feel what I'm going to feel, but what I choose to do about it, I'm really being called out right now. <laughs> oh, sometimes tarot does this to you. I'm really being called out. What many Americans refer to as the holiday season has been really hard on me for years. It's not just, it, this is not a new thing. This is a, this has been consistent since I was a teenager. So I feel like it is telling me I can choose to be happy. I could choose to enjoy the time or I could choose to focus on all the the unpleasant things instead. I'm going to make a more active choice to be happy this time around. So the concept to pay attention to for the whole year, the card in the center, is the Four of Cups upright. This one I think I actually need to analyze the art on the card itself rather than just say the meaning. So we have a picture of a person in armor huddled. Looks like he's cold, trying to sleep. 
has a sword leading up against a tree, and out of that tree is coming a dryad. The cups around him on the ground appear to be empty, and they're kind of washed out in their color, where the one that the dryad is holding looks like it's full of life, full of energy. You can see a distinction in the colors here, where around the man is very dreary. It's dark purples. It's, it's kind of depressing. But then inside the tree, you see light. You see life. I feel like it's telling me I need to be looking at what is offered, recognizing that there are things still present. <sighs> no, how do I rephrase that? Answers are closer at hand than they might appear if I pay attention to what's around me. That's what I'm feeling. Well, that is the circle of the year spread. Whenever you do this spread, you always start with the next month. So for me, that was December because I'm doing this in November. And the last card is the overarching pay attention to this in all the months and let it inform your decisions throughout the year. Quick reminder, I have a Discord server, a personal website, and a Buy Me a Coffee page. You'll find links to those in the description. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.